first one is going to be register a new application. We're going to only allow this within this directory. The name that we're going to give it, we're going to call it a data experience framework. And then we want to leave, that's good there, the web app. There's a redirect URL. I'm going to copy that right out of the doc here. It does say your tenant, so what we're going to do is replace your tenant. So it's b2c login dot on slash whatever the tenant and then slash dot com. That is our direct redirect URL. Well, I created this thing, so I don't really remember my um, and so I can actually copy it right out of here. That is tenant level. I'm going to replace that with your and paste it, and voila, we're good. Leave that because we want Open ID Connect. Those are kind of like your offline and your, your access tokens. We'll leave that alone. Register that. This will generate the application kind of behind the scenes. Like I said before, we want to expose an API. This is the kind of the internal application. So we'll click on Expose an API. And then we'll add a scope. And this scope here, when you hit Add a Scope, it'll automatically populate the client ID also known as the app ID of the app that I just created. And you can leave it alone. You don't have to change this. So I would just kind of leave that alone and hit saving. It'll work just fine. You see how it appends it here where it says on Microsoft slash what is the app ID. And at the end of it, it'll pin whatever I put there. I like the copy and face components. I do, don't want to, biggest issue that you tend to have is typos or wrong character case. I just try to stick to the copy and face as much as possible. But you can manually type this in if you want as well. We're going to leave this enable, and we're going to just add the scope. Now that we've done that, if I go into overview, we will need this this app ID later on. So let's go ahead and copy that. We'll reference that and edit that within the Identity Experience framework.